from uh, from this uh, development that's coming. And it's good. We're in progress. And I'd like to thank the, uh, Greg Rickford and uh, Minister Gavell for uh, making this, things happen. Uh, right now I, I have a cold. I am just uh, getting off from a cold. I was in bed for, for four days uh, last week. I've been pretty much busy. You guys could now, and uh, and uh, with this uh, with this uh, uh, this uh, our weather road, I know we're gonna you know prosper from uh, the, the developments that's gonna be happening with our First Nations, and uh, as uh, as we all know that uh, our First Nations are lacking on uh, the housing, uh, the employment. All those, uh, all those, all those uh, things that we face. So there's challenges that we have to, you know, work with, try to work with. So that is why that uh, we're in, uh, trying to make a plan, a strategic plan, how we could uh, move forward. And uh, I'm gonna. That's where I'm gonna end. And Shmigash, uh, Ajay. we uh, turn the uh, microphones uh, over to, to the ministers and, and take questions, I'd, uh, I'd like to ask uh, my minister, Minister Whitford, to uh, return to the podium for uh, a minute. Thank you. Thank you for that, Amy, and thank you for everybody for coming out today. This is uh, an extraordinary uh, opportunity for this region, and I know um, there may be questions about uh, what, uh, uh, what the details are of a, a regional community service corridor. I should first say that this is the culmination of consultations and advice sought out uh, not just by First Nations communities uh, as amongst themselves in the region. Uh, we have taken on advice from mayors uh, and uh, from uh, the Ring of Fire Steering Committee. And we have some uh, more technical details on what this entails. And Minister Gravel and I would be, uh, will be available for um, a, media, a more formal uh, media scrum. But I think, uh, given the opportunity today, and given the fact that we have such a great turnout from uh, municipal leaders and, and members of the legislature and member of parliament from Northern Ontario here today, I was wondering if all you folks could just come up uh, and join us for uh, a photo opportunity. I think this really speaks to um, the collective interest and enthusiasm we have uh, for um, for today's opportunity, and in particular, as Minister Gravel uh, said, um, this is also with our industry partners, notably Noron, and I see Alan Coots there, uh, who has been a champion for actually the only project that's advancing right now and is in the environmental assessment process and set, uh, obviously, uh, to move forward as part of this uh, regional uh, opportunity. So. Folks, if you could just come up and join us, I think this is probably a, a, a photo opportunity not seen uh, for all of us in Northern Ontario. Yeah, there are other uh, First Nations leaders here from other communities that have joined us, if you could come up as well. 